Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight, three ingredient chicken wings. And all you need are the chicken wings, Kikkoman soy sauce, and um, barbecue sauce. And they suggested Sweet Baby Ray's, and I actually have that, or have that, have that in my refrigerator. So, let me show you here. So here is the barbecue sauce, and I used low sodium soy sauce, and I mixed it all up, and then I am going to pour it over the wings and then you are supposed to put it in a pan and bake it at 400 for 40 minutes and then you turn it to broil for a few minutes. And here are my wings. Aren't these wings huge? I got these from Aldi before the wing shortage. They are the biggest wings I have ever seen in my life. And then I am going to make some mac and cheese to go along with it. And Howard and I are not crazy about this mac and cheese. So I am going to show you how I doctor it up with just a few simple ingredients. So I will be right back. All right guys, so I prepared the macaroni according to the package directions. And now I'm just gonna add in a half a cup of sour cream and about a half a cup of cheese. Now you could add more if you want to. I'm gonna add a half a cup of cheese in and then I'm just gonna give it a good stir so it can melt out for me. All right, so I have a prepared greased eight inch pan here. Just gonna pour it in. And what's so surprising is that the addition of these two ingredients makes such a big difference in the taste of this macaroni and cheese. I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit and then I'm gonna sprinkle some more cheese on top. Like I said, if you want more cheese than what I'm adding, go for it. Or if you wanna switch it up and use something that's not cheddar, um, then that's fine too. And I'm just gonna bake this at 350 until the cheese is melted, usually about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so here is our dinner. Here are the wings. I ended up cooking them for about an hour. 40 minutes was not enough. I think because these wings are so big, and I know you can't tell on camera, but they are absolutely huge. We are having leftover green beans and then that I had in the fridge, and then this is the macaroni and cheese that I doctored up. Now you could, of course, add a lot more cheese than I did, but I was trying to be a little bit healthier but it's really amazing how just a couple of ingredients really changes the taste of that macaroni and cheese. All right, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having an oldie but goodie. It is orzo pasta with spinach and Parmesan. I have made this several times before on our channel. I discovered this recipe recently, and it is so good. It does call for spinach, and I'm not a huge spinach fan, but I really like this dish a lot. It's um, meatless, but not vegetarian, because it does call for chicken base, but it is so good. And I am serving it with some mini croissants that I picked up from Trader Joe's, and this was my first time um, making them, and they're really good. You don't have to defrost these at all. You just throw them on a baking sheet and, um, and they're ready to go. And they're good, very light and flaky. They're absolutely delicious and I will definitely buy these again. So, oh, oh and I'll make sure to link the video with, the, with this recipe in the description box so you guys can check it out. All right, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it is a dreary and rainy day here in Texas, so I am going to make some pantry tomato soup. I love tomato soup, and this recipe looks pretty simple. So you need either two cans of tomato sauce or crushed tomatoes, baking soda to neutralize the soup, or the tomatoes, I should say, and you need two cans of evaporated milk, hot sauce, pepper, and Greek seasoning, and basil. Now I wish I had fresh basil, I don't. I don't even have dry basil. 
Um, so I'm gonna play around with the seasonings a little bit, but go ahead and take a screenshot of this recipe because I did look for it online and I cannot find it. So screenshot it if you want it. But um, I need to grab one more can of evaporated milk out of my pantry. I thought I thought it used just one. And then I have a 28, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then I think I'm gonna use some Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and then here's my baking soda. So I'm gonna throw all of this together and I will be back. Okay, so here is the tomato soup, and it's actually pretty good. I like it. I will say that the baking soda definitely did neutralize um, the tomato. I've never cooked um, or used baking soda with a tomato product before. So if, you're ha if you are a person that has problem with the acidity of tomatoes, it would definitely work for you. Howard said it doesn't taste as tomato-y to him. Like it took away that acidic taste, um, but it's good, very good. I did, I did end up adding some salt to it. And then with it, I am having some cheesy breadsticks. Now, normally I would have a grilled cheese sandwich with it, but a couple of years ago, um, I had some of these exact breadsticks in the fridge from Aldi, and I decided to have those with the tomato soup and um, really, really liked it a lot. So we just dunked these in the tomato soup like a marinara. So this is just half of that box. The other half is uh, still sitting on my stove. So we have enough for leftovers tomorrow, definitely. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so Howard went and got um, carry out for us tonight. It is a uh, Vietnamese restaurant. We've never tried it before. So let me show you what we got. I got the sauteed black pepper beef. So there's veggies in there and it comes with um, steamed white rice. Howard got pad thai. And then we got two appetizers. We got um, fried dumplings, which are these. And then we got, <coughs> I think these are egg rolls. Are they egg rolls or spring rolls? They're spring rolls, vegetable, I think, spring rolls. So this is what we are, oh, and it comes with dipping sauce. Not sure what they are, so there's some dipping sauce down there. And that, of course, is Harrison making all that noise. All right, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I thought I would pop in really quickly and show you guys what we are having for lunch today. So I recently went to Costco and I saw this uh, miso ramen kit. Howard and I both love ramen. Never tried it before, but it was on sale. So I think I got it for $4 off. I think it was maybe $7.99 or something like that. So let me show you what came in this little kit. You get, since it is pork, you get two little packages of pork right here. And then it comes with a vegetable topping. You get the two packages of the miso broth and then two packages of the noodles. So my husband and I are gonna prepare these differently. He is more of a microwave person and I am a stovetop person. So um, we will be back and I'll show you how both bowls turned out and what we think of them. Okay, so here are the bowls of soup. So this is Howard's, again, he made his in the microwave. And then this is mine, I made mine on top of the stove. They were both really easy and we both tasted um, the soup and it's really good. Uh, I would definitely buy it again. Howard, would you want me to buy this again? I mean, would yes. you eat it? Yeah. So he said, yeah, it's really good. And again, here is what the package looks like. And I, again, got this at Costco. All right, so we'll see you guys for dinner. Hey guys, I went quick and easy for dinner tonight. We are having big salads. So in my freezer, I had um, this bag of Tyson crispy chicken strips. I only had a few chicken strips in there. So I threw them in the air fryer and we are having, like I said, giant salads. So this is Howard's plate. 
and he has the chicken strips. I also boiled up a couple of eggs. So he's got the chopped eggs. He's got an avocado that has seen better days. He's got cheddar cheese and I think that's it. He is going to use this Ken's creamy um, Caesar dressing. And this is my salad. I like my salad tossed. So I tossed my lettuce in this Olive Garden Italian dressing, then I added everything else. So on mine, I've got the boiled eggs, I've got the chicken strips, um, and then I have Parmesan cheese. I may add some banana pepper rings to it, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.